Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Nisha Velvet Like Colour Sticks. I picked these up in the remaining blush shades that are in the collection. Previously, last month, maybe the month before, I talked about these products in the contour and highlight versions. I didn't have the blushes with me because I only bought the contour and highlight because it seemed like a more logical... Oh, I'm dropping them. <laughs> <laughs> They're rolling out of my hands. It seemed like a more logical way to do the review rather than having blushes, highlights, and contours. So I picked up the five blush shades now as well because I really liked the formula. So for these ones, the product description says, The high coloration velvet color stick makes the lips and cheek look attractive with strong color and soft touch. Creamy matte finish leaves your skin feeling silky and fresh. I didn't even realize you could use these for the lips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm doing the swatches for them afterwards, so I will try these on my lips. But for this talky part of the review, I haven't tried them on my lips. So listen to the middle part if you want to see how they feel for my lips. So the packaging of these products is really great. They're really small, they're compact, and I like that they have different colors on the outside so that I can tell which product I'm trying to pick up. The blusher itself is a really tiny little tube. It's circular and I don't find that it makes it easier to apply the blush or harder to apply the blush. And there's about this much in them. So. There's my pinky. There's how much blush you get. It's kind of like the tip, from the knuckle, tip knuckle part. From the top knuckle part of my pinky upwards. It is substantial-ish. It's about seven grams. So it's not nothing, but it's not a huge amount either. There are five colors in the collection and all of the colors look really pretty. Most of them are pinks. There is one peachy orange color. Um, not sure how much I'm gonna like that one but the rest of them are pinks, which I like. So I'm gonna start with Heart and Heart. This is the lightest pink in the collection. So I'm just gonna pop a fair amount of it there. It's kind of still hard to see on camera. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. So I'm basically making a little patting and slight tugging motion. This one is quite easy to blend because it is lighter. So I have to work a little less hard at it. So that is what Heart and Heart looks like through Heart and Heart. Yes, heart and heart looks like on one cheek there. It's a really pretty pink. I actually really, really like this one. Without, and then with. They are a little bit of a, th a thicker formulation, but like a firmer formulation, I guess. They're not super soft, so they're a little bit more tricky to blend. But I still think that they look really, really pretty. I think that the finger is the easiest way to use them. So that is what heart and heart looks like on both cheeks there. I really enjoy the colour, it is probably one of my favourites in the collection because it is the light pink. <laughs> so this is Heart and Heart. The next shade is called Retro Movie, which is another lighter pink. This one is a little bit more of a sort of like rosy tone I would say, like it's still quite pink, it's not leaning orange or anything like that, but it's definitely probably a coral I guess because it's kind of matching with my eyeshadow there. So that is Retro Movie on one cheek there, without... This is another quite pretty colour. It's probably not one of my favourite favourites, just because it is a little bit darker, um, a little bit more tricky to blend because of the deeper tone. I'm um, not saying that it's a super bad thing, just because I need to use a little bit less of it and I need to make sure that I blend really, really well. It does definitely help, so I am applying these over the top of like on non-set foundation. It definitely helps to apply a bit of powder over the top of these because it helps to blend out any extra lines that have been missed. So this is what Retro Movie looks like. It's a little bit more of a mature colour. Um, I would definitely say it's more of a rosy colour than a red or a pink or anything like that. So this is Retro Movie. The next shade is called Hidden Cookie, which is the orange of the family. Huh, she's orange. It's not my favorite color. Actually, I think I'm gonna show you guys how this blends out with a puff. So you can, it's not my favorite color, as I was saying to myself. It's not my favorite color. It's quite bright. It's quite orange. It's not terrible though. Um, I prefer to use a cushion puff to blend this shade in particular and one of the other ones out because it is going to pick up a little bit of the product um, and make it a little bit less intense. So that is Hidden Cookie on one cheek there. I remember what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to be trying these out on my lips as well. That's why I haven't got any lipstick on. Mmm. No, I hate it. Um. Oh, that's so weird. No. No, 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 no. Okay, one, they taste terrible. Tastes like very strong powdery rose. It's really, really tasty. Um, two, the feeling on the lips is so 
odd, like really thin, really dry feeling. And I just finished doing swatches, so my lips are really exfoliated, but it's still picking up on the parts of my lips where there are a little bit of extra flakes. I'll zoom you guys in in a second. No comments about my teeth, thank you very much. Leave those to yourself. Um, the color does look really nice actually on as a lipstick. I would love this color as a lipstick, but I hate the way that this feels. It's really bad. So this is what it looks like really close. You can see those little flakes there. It just feels really, really mm, dry. <laughs> this is a hidden cookie. The next shade is called Flower Bouquet, which is another pink. It's more of a sort of bright corally pink, which I think is really pretty. I haven't got a huge amount of wear out of this one yet, but honestly, I think it's a really pretty color. It's just a little bit intense. Um, I probably need to use a cushion puff to blend this one out a little bit more because it's starting to get quite wide. As in, the more I blend, the further the color is going, like it's going up into my eye region, um, which I don't want it to do. So that's the easiest way to stop that from happening. So this is Flower Bouquet on one cheek there. Nothing here. It is a really pretty color, but yeah, it's a bit, a bit more bright, a bit more intense, so definitely more suited to using the Cushion Puff to blend it out other than anything else. So super pretty, not one of my personal favorites, but still really nice. So this is Flower Bouquet. And then the last shade is called Mystery Rose. This is the darker shade, so I am definitely going to use a Cushion Puff to blend this one. Um, generally I would normally just use my fingers and just use a little less and be more careful but because the colors don't show up quite as nicely on camera as they do in real life this is um, the best way to apply it on camera normally I would just go with using my fingers though so this is a mystery rose it is a really really pretty color it's more of like a true rose than um, the other one which was a retro movie that one was slightly more like I guess brownish rose this is like a really pretty like mm, I really like this one so this is Mystery Rose, nothing, Mystery Rose. These are really, really pretty, so. I think that these are probably one of my favorite stick blushes that I've tried. They're really pigmented, they are easy to apply, quick to blend. I don't feel like I'm taking off any of the base product underneath while blending them out, which is really, really nice. And they don't totally disappear when I put powder over the top which I'll show you guys in a second. So this is Mystery Rose. And because this is the last one, I'm going to powder my face because I'm going to be doing eyeshadow swatches next. So I don't want any of the shadows to sort of stick to my cheeks. So I'm gonna use my Laura Messier Translucent Loose Powder and I'm just gonna press it on like that. I'm going pretty much all over my face because I've reset most of my foundation by now. So that is what it looks like with powder over top. You can still definitely see it. It's not as shiny and beautiful, but it is not sticky. So when we put just a bit of powder on, it does work a lot better, I think, personally. Plus, if you mess up blending, the powder will save you as well. <laughs> so all in all for these blushes, I actually really like them, which is pretty unsurprising considering I liked the um, contour stick as well. They're not ones that I particularly reach for, and in that case, I'm not sure if they're going to survive the purge, or not because I am going to be getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff at the end of December because I am potentially probably moving house and I just have ridiculous amounts of cosmetics that I do not need in my life and I need to be tougher on myself and actually get rid of a lot of this stuff like I have a whole bag full of lipsticks over there and I still haven't gone through like the last selection of lipsticks which is mildly worrying but it's going to be okay it's going to be okay. <laughs> so while I really enjoyed the colors of these ones, I don't particularly like the orange, which is not a surprise, but you know, I do find that the formula itself is really easy to work with. If I was going to be really picky, I'd like it if it was a little bit more of a soft texture because I do find that when I apply and blend, I do have to kind of press and pull with my finger. It's a lot nicer if I can just gently pat in, but I do understand that a lot of the time, if you have that more soft texture, you get a bit less pigmentation in return. So more similar to the Petty Petter um, Velvet Light cheek blushes that I talked about last month which is pretty recent actually those ones had a really soft texture but they had very little pigmentation which meant that I need to build it up so sometimes it is a bit of like a give and take with that sort of thing but I do really like these and I think that their packaging is in fact really great as well because they're so small like they are really portable 
just threw that. They are really portable and really easy to stack and store and identify because the colors are different on the outside, which I really like. So overall, they're definitely something that I would recommend. They are my favorite stick blushes so far. I just ended up saying goodbye to the Apu Heart on Cheek blushes as well as the Sem Overaction Little Rabbit cheek blushes which were both heart shaped um, stick blushes mostly because the formulas just weren't that great so I ended up saying goodbye to them they're in the, the purge bag I'm sorry <laughs> so there is a potential that I might end up um, having room to keep some or all of these so thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you in the next one